Welcome to the Kathy Raley Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Join now with Kathy Raley, head coach of the women's lacrosse team. And coach, you guys were able to clinch the number two seed in the MAC Commonwealth with a win against Lycoming. Again, the offense is clicking in sure. that game. Talk a little bit about that performance and how big it is to host that first round or second round game. Well, Joe, when we were sitting here, what, a month and a half ago, uh, I was worried we'd make it into the tournament. We were not playing well. We weren't we weren't getting enough shots to produce enough goals. We were turning the ball over. We weren't ready defensively. To So to sit here and say that we're in second place, we locked in second place mm-hmm. last week, um, that was that's fantastic news. I, you know, that's a tribute to the girls who who have worked so hard, knowing what we needed to get better in, and uh, have made that come true. So I'm very proud of them. You know, one area that we were talking about where you needed to get better sure. is the clears, mm-hmm. and you guys have jumped into the top performing sure. team in clears since yep. that point where we were worried well you know again those first couple of games i remember every post game interview uh revolving around the fact that we couldn't clear the ball you know mm-hmm. we would make these great defensive stops uh mac would make a great save we'd have a great double team and we'd get three quarters of the way up the field and lose the ball mm-hmm. so we went from what i think was the worst clearing team in division three to one of the best and we made that change quickly Mm -hmm. um we lead the league we lead the mac in in overall clear percentage so that's you know that's outstanding after the start we had to still have those numbers that overall we're you know we're we're leading the league it's great as we talk you know you guys finish out this season at denison Mm -hmm. uh that was a very good test as you guys head into this week of postseason play well what did you learn from that game that you guys need to work on? Well, I think we learned uh, emotional kind of lessons. Mm-hmm. Um, I could tell at the warm up we were not focused, we were not hungry. And I tried to step out on the warm up field a couple times to see if I could change that, and I was having no luck. It was very reminiscent of our uh, Lebanon Valley game. Mm-hmm. I, you know, that that feeling that it was just not serious enough. It wasn't. We were we were not working hard in the pregame to kind of challenge each other. Um, so it didn't surprise me that we had a slow start. Now that being said, I'm very proud of the team. They turned things around quickly. Uh, we just built too big of a hole in that first half. However, I think if that game was three minutes longer, I think it would have had a different outcome. Well, you compare that game to the Lebanon Valley game mm-hmm. where it fueled a fire after that <laughs> yes. that loss. Yes. Uh, is that what you're expecting as you head into this weekend or hoping for as you guys move in to play against Albright on sure. Wednesday? You know, when you're the second place team, it's an expectation. It is not a hope. You cannot go out there and think that anyone is going to be an easy target from this point forward. Uh, we are not going to look at our previous Albright game and think that they're going to be an easy team, even though we scored over 20 goals on them the first time. That's not what it is. This is MAC championship. We are on the road to try to get to the NCAA tournament, and we have to treat everyone like that's the. Fi- it's it's our final game. Mm-hmm. It's it's win or clean out your locker, and and uh, I think that and that's for every team involved. Mm-hmm. It's not just us. So it's who handles that pressure pressure the best and who executes on game day. The, s- the slate is clean, to, yes, to, so to speak. Is. You know, the tournament set. It, it yeah. all starts. The season starts today. What sure are you going to do with it? You know, we had a great practice this morning, and, and it was good to see. After a loss, the girls came out with a ton of energy. Mm-hmm. Um, the execution today was near perfection. So we're, we're as ready, I think, as we're going to be. We just got to come out and play with some fire and some confidence. Well, coach, we wish you the best of luck this week, and great. we'll talk to you post game on Wednesday. Great, thanks. She's Kathy Rayleigh. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Kathy Rayleigh Show.